I also want to take this, com this moment just to say one or two things. First to say that uh, we celebrate JT as an accomplished sports person and one who went into an area where we had very few indigenous Africans participating in that. Many of us will recall that motorsport for the longest period was a sport where we had no indigenous Africans. But after JT and a few others got into it, today we are happy that whenever we have motorsport here in Akuru and across the country, more than half the names are actually Kenyans and we have indigenous. So he was a pioneer in a big way and helped many of the other young sports persons to get into it. Your Excellency Deputy President, as you may be aware, we have been trying to fight to ensure that Kenya is included in the World Rally Championships. And uh, from the reports we have received, it is very likely that by next year we will be on the World Championship. It's unfortunate he will not be there, but we appreciate his efforts as a pioneering sports person in that area. I also would want to comment lightly on the issue of cancer. As we all know, JT passed on because of cancer. And as a country, we are in a situation where we really do not know how to deal with this epidemic. Here in Akuru, last year May, we started a clinic for cancer, where we're giving cancer treatment. And in the last 11 months, we have over 6,000 cases from just around this region. The unfortunate part is that a lot of the people who come to the hospital who are referred there, by the time they get to the hospital, they are already in stage four and many of them cannot be treated. I want to take this opportunity, even as you say bye to JT, to also call upon the nation to look at our policy because unless there's early diagnosis, early screening, then this disease will continue to take many more and it will be very difficult for us to deal with it. So we advocate for early treatment and also request the government to put adequate resources because families are running bankrupt and leaving huge debts because they cannot be able to deal with the cancer menace. So for us here in Akuru and working together with the national government, we shall continue to expand our cancer clinic here and hope that we'll be able to serve more and more Kenyans but more must be done to ensure that we have early screening to detect and do what is necessary before it gets to those difficult stages. Now, when we were discussing with Senator Gideon about Kifoya JT and how it came, and as all you can imagine, when some of this bad news come, you don't know how to break the news. So he was telling me that eventually when the death was known, and they were wondering how to break the news to Mze. He got the bishops, Bishop Diego and others, and they went, beat the bush, till there was no more bush to beat, and finally they said, JT is no more. The only two questions that Mze asked was, one, was he in pain? Two, did he die in the Lord? And I want to take this opportunity to say, that in our last moments in this world, the only thing that matters is the last question. Are you in there? Lord, your relationship with God, your relationship with fellow mankind is really what matters. And I think this is really what we want to see. And I'm happy to know that JT died in the Lord. I want to end it there to thank all of you and indeed to say that we are here to be with the family. May God bless you all.